morning, everybody. It is Sunday, January 16th. I'm just waiting for my songwriting assignment to get marked. Supposedly, if you get it in before noon on the marking day, it's supposed to get marked that day. I don't know what they're gonna do. I don't know if that's not gonna get marked until Tuesday now. As I said at the end of the week, we need to update that whiteboard, get all of our goals up, write in our journal, get the vlog posted, work on some music, and I want to master one of my songs for my bootleg EP that's coming out soon. My plan right now is to release all eight tracks every couple weeks and then do a big finale where I go and record a set and play the tracks out. So yeah, always lots to do, always lots to plan, and I'm feeling good. It's gonna be a chill Sunday. We're just gonna relax. Let's get to work. Well, good morning, everybody. It is actually Tuesday, January 18th. Our songwriting assignment didn't get marked, even though I got it in before the cutoff. I'm not sure why songwriting, because it's quite a bit to go over, that the cutoff is on Saturday before noon. Makes a little more sense that it would be on Friday, but you know, that's just how it goes. And then on top of it, it was a long weekend in America, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And so nothing got marked on Monday as well. And if I'm being totally transparent with you, I did not have a good day on Monday. Some stuff went on that I needed to deal with. I even had to call my therapist and have like an emergency session with her. Sometimes I forget that I'm battling multiple mental illnesses. That's why I'm in therapy. That's why I left the military. You know, pursuing music really does uplift me. It's such a great outlet. I'm so lucky though, you know, to just be able to have somebody like that to call when I'm kind of in a crisis. The anxiety was through the roof and I just didn't really know how to deal with the situation. But anyways, here we are, we're back. It's Tuesday. Still hasn't gotten marked, but I mean, it's bright and early in the morning. But I expect it to get marked today. And then we're just going to carry on with our regular scheduled programming. You know, I'm not going to do a Mental Health Monday segment, but I will do the Sunday fun day thing. You know, well, I kind of just did my Mental Health Monday segment. Like, if you need help because you got something going on, find some good people in your circle, seek professional help, take a mental health day, and just take care of yourself. And now we're going to wait for our assignment to get marked before we can move on to Unit 3. It's good to be back and we'll talk to you soon. Well, good morning, everyone. Wednesday, January 19th. Kind of got lucky needing that mental health break on Monday because Icon was closed anyway, so no marking. But for whatever freaking reason, my songwriting assignment didn't get marked till 9 p.m. last night. So everything's thrown off this week. I might just release a full week vlog on Sunday. I don't know. I know there's a lot of feedback to give with these songwriting assignments, but maybe just change the days if it's too much and it's not gonna be marked. That being said, let's go Sunday fun day right about now. Movie magic, I'm telling you. Let's just do this. Welcome back to Sunday fun day on a Wednesday. Here we go, unit three, vocal harmony writing two, G sharp minor and B major, social media two. Starting off with songwriting, vocal harmony writing two. In this lesson, you will further explore vocal harmony writing, including these techniques. Harmonic considerations in writing multiple vocal parts, practical considerations in arranging vocal harmonies, approaches to stack background layers, mixed considerations for multi-part vocal harmonies. Moving forward, keyboard techniques, AKA music theory, G sharp minor, B major. In this lesson, you will learn how to play in the keys of G sharp or A flat minor and B major. The minor and major scale patterns, the G sharp minor scale, the B major scale, the minor and major chord qualities, the chords of G sharp minor and B major, singing the G sharp minor and B major scales. Here we go, continuing on, Fast and Furious, we are back into music business. Social media, intro to part two. In this lesson, you will further explore the role of social media in the music industry and how to use it to your advantage. Where and how to stay informed on social media trends, planning effective social media content ahead of time, the 80-20 rule, effective engagement through social media channels. And then as per usual, we end with a keys playing assignment. Well, how do you like that rapid fire? It's freaking Wednesday. I'm excited for those music business classes and we're gonna get straight to work because I'm gonna try to finish all the lessons today. Talk to you soon. Good afternoon and welcome back to the Wednesday midweek check-in. 
How are we feeling this week? Well, you already know that this week has not gone all that well for me. We've made the decision to make this one long vlog for the entire week. So we're already half the week done and just getting started on unit three. Feeling annoyed, feeling down, but nonetheless, we push on. Today, we absolutely grinded. We did all of the lessons. Let's get into it. Songwriting, we are learning about harmonies. In particular, multi-layered harmonies. Last week, we learned about single layer. This week, we're learning about multi-layer in that you can essentially layer as many harmonies as you want in your song. Realistically though, staying within the chord tones makes the most sense. Next up, keyboard techniques, AKA music theory. We went over the G sharp minor scale as well as the B major scale. And those are relative scales to each other, meaning the same notes just starting in a different place. That was all pretty straightforward. It's just introducing a new key. They're pretty well going through them all as the course has progressed. We've seen this a hundred times before. The only thing they added as a little bonus was what the seventh was for the chord. And then last and certainly not least, music business. This is still all about marketing. We went over social media and they described this really interesting concept, the Pareto principle, which is basically a rule in business, meaning you want 80% of your profits from 20% of your customers. There's so many different tactics when it comes to social media. I'm just glad to have obvious clear direction from a school that has artists who are very very successful the evidence is clear that whatever they showed them in the beginning at least gave them the foundation to get to where they are today so moving on to homework obviously songwriting we're writing the song that i showed you last week we're just continuing developing those harmonies developing the layers and the production of that song we're allowed to add effects now and so we're really just taking things and doing the best we can with our vocal. Music business, we have a huge assignment. I'm actually pretty intimidated and overwhelmed by what we have to do. Essentially, we have to create an entire release plan for a single or something we got coming up. And we need to create a weekly schedule for what we're going to do for posting on our social media. So yeah, that's a detailed overview of what we're doing for unit three of level six at Icon Collective. That'll be it for the Wednesday midweek check-in today. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday, January 20th, and what a crazy week we've been having. Wednesday, we went crazy, did all the lessons, and now Thursday, we have our mentor session coming up and we need to finish the assignments. I really wanna finish the assignments today. Or if, you know, things don't go according to plan, hand them in first thing tomorrow morning. We got our work cut out for us. We have to get ready for our mentor session coming right up. We're showing them that Dylan Francis remix that I showed you last week. Then we'll probably work on that for the rest of the morning, eat lunch, and then it'll be all about the lessons. We'll talk to you soon. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday, January. January 21st and as if this week couldn't get any worse we had a flat tire this morning drove my car straight into Honda there's a little bit of air but probably shouldn't have even done that now they're gonna assess see if I need a whole new tire or if they can patch it so needless to say we are having a doozy of a week we're back into our songwriting project that's the only thing we have to do today we've got to re-sing a few of the parts and honestly most of the feedback I got was that she just couldn't hear the other parts, AKA the mix wasn't good. Not only do I need to bring the levels up on all my layers, but I also need to make sure that the panning makes sense and is also present. We also need to add effects. I messed up last week and I didn't add any effects. I didn't see that we were now allowed to add proper effects to our vocals. So gotta do that as well. I'm feeling really, really good about where this track is at. This is literally the second song I've ever sang on and pretty much anyone I've spoken to that has become a singer, well, they were trained to be a singer. It's something that they express anyone could do. It just takes training, time, and practice. So for me, you know it's my goal to eventually sing on my own tracks. I'm gonna keep documenting that process because I think it would be a cool thing for everyone to witness. All right, we're getting to work. And welcome back to a very modified Friday fireside chat. Keeping with the chaotic theme of this week, let's just freaking wing it here. This has been a tough week, so I'm gonna show you something cool that I bought for the studio. So this here is the Faderport 8 
production controller. Let's fire it up and watch the magic happen. Ooh, ah. Yes, so this is a motorized fader controller for Ableton Live. I absolutely love this thing. You know, originally I bought it as a nice to have, but it's been able to incorporate into my workflow in a way that I didn't think would happen. And so if we switch Ableton to the fader mode, you can see that when I move this, it moves that on the screen. And when I move it with my mouse, it moves the fader as well. And so what I wanted to show you was just how amazing a piece of gear like this actually is. Manipulating all these different settings here at the same time using my ears to mix just like DJing, it felt absolutely amazing. It was way quicker than having to click and drag every single volume thing one by one and everything just came together so much faster. So let's get this loop going. Let's do a quick mix. Obviously, I just messed everything up there and watch just how fast it is to mix this entire section of drums. Voila. How long did that take me? 30 seconds? It's also really just the feeling of it. You know, it's tactile, it's hands-on. I'm mixing with my fingers, I'm mixing with my ears. I'm not relying on what the volume number is at. I'm just feeling it out, letting my intuition guide me. It definitely feels a lot more musical, it feels a lot more intuitive, and a heck of a lot more fun than just using your mouse. I think as a music producer, some kind of motorized mixer is really going to help out your workflow. Obviously, this is not necessary, this is a nice to have, but for me now, it's a no-brainer. It just makes more sense. All right, that'll be it for this Modified Friday Fireside Chat. We'll see you next week. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, January 22nd. As you can see, Dune is already open. I really want to make some, like, bass house music. Like the AC Slater night bass kind of sound. I got this idea that I could potentially combine what I'm already doing, like my Tiesto or my Paulina Hair remix, but incorporate some of this bass house kind of thing into it. We're doing our sound design thing. We've handed in all the projects we needed to hand in this week. And now we're just waiting for things to get marked. We gotta go pick up our car later. What a week, you know, but we persevere. We push on because that's what we gotta do. Let's get sound designing. Good afternoon and welcome back to Sound Design Saturday. Let's get one vlog segment right this week, shall we? Sound design all day and today was about bass house. That AC Slater night bass kind of vibe. Let's get straight into it. Meet me over by the computer. All right, here we are. We've got seven bass sounds. I suppose for this genre, these could also be the leads you can get crazy experimental with bass house you know one thing that i noticed is it's all about the semitones and where you're at in the mix with that so we've got one down two semitones up one and then back to zero another ones i got it pitched up five semitones i got pitched down five and we just kind of experiment until we get a sound that we like we've been doing this rapid fire let's go
so I've done house, I've done techno, I've done trance, I've done dubstep, and now we're getting into the more solidified subgenres, bass house. Really, it's kind of taking dubstep noises and then shrinking them down into house-sized beats, house-sized notes, and it really works. It creates such a cool vibe. Yeah, I think this was a success. And we are finally done this week, going on to unit four of level six next week. And that'll be it for Sound Design Saturday today. Wow.